Hello, how are you? These are actually pretty cozy. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jen. If you've been around uh, with my channel for a little bit, you're like, what the heck is she up to now? So I've started thrifting clothes to resell. Just as kind of like a side gig hobby. Well, my husband definitely says it's a hobby because he's like, right now, he's like, you're not making any money. You're just spending a lot of money. True. So I am dipping my toes in this. So if this is something you already do or you're thinking about getting into, I just want to start out with that claim that I, I am new. I do want to mention three channels though that I've been watching pretty regular regularly that have been super helpful, like amazing, amazing people. The first one is K&M Resale, uh, husband and wife team, and they've been doing this for a while. So they know what they're doing. They're so nice. They're so like helpful, educational, Michael and Kendall. I will link all these channels down below. The next one is Taylor Exchange. His name is Sean, also very helpful. The third one, I think it's Tech and Sports. Super, super educational. Like the whole point of it is to educate and help uh, others. So if you're a beginner, like I have found that so helpful. He's even got a, a Patreon page, which I've joined and has been invaluable. So yeah, today was half off day at uh, the Goodwill stores in our area. I was able to hit three of them. I think, uh, so according to my receipts, I think I'm at like 160, 162 items. My average cost of goods is just a little over $3, which is excellent. Cause like I said, just kind of starting out, don't really have any income flowing in from this just yet, you know, fingers crossed <laughs> as we get more things listed. Uh, the cheapest things, uh, any ties they show, regular price $2.99, so I paid $1.50 for those. Uh, all the way up to most expensive things were probably the blazers, uh, marked, you know, 50% off from $10, 5 bucks for those. If you are a seasoned pro at this and are watching, uh, feel free to say, hey, don't ever pick up that brand again. I know you only paid 2 bucks, but go get your money back for those. <laughs> I won't be offended. And hey, maybe there's a couple home runs in here that I don't even know about yet. So if you're anything like me and you're watching some of these other YouTube channels, sellers, you know, writing down anytime a new brand is mentioned that wasn't like on your radar or on your list, you know, and I was, I was making these double-sided like handwritten lists. So the first time I went to the thrift store, uh, I had rewritten everything in alphabetical order to try to keep it simplified. But then as soon as a new brand comes on my radar, I'm like trying to squeeze it in there. I found there is an app, it's called Numbers, works pretty much like a spreadsheet, like an Excel spreadsheet. And that is working wonders for me. I just use that app and anytime another brand is mentioned, I can just put in that sheet, filter it and put them in alphabetical order. And then it's on my phone and with me at all times. So and maybe there's a better way to do it, but that's, that's what's working for me right now. Let's just get moving. <laughs> First up, we have a pair of Brooks Brothers, which is a brand that was on my list. So I knew that was good. I also know corduroys are in. So we have these pants. A Florin blazer. I think this is a women's blazer. Let's remove the camera back so you can see the whole thing better. These are some polo Ralph Lauren pants. They are green and they are quite large for a very tall person. Here we had a Schmidt workwear. So that brand wasn't necessarily on my radar, but like the workwear shirts. And this is women's, which I thought was Cute. I thought maybe somebody else like it. This, this is one of those that I'm like, uh, probably shouldn't have grabbed it, but it was just so like, uh. <laughs> so the brand is Flashback, uh, which means nothing to me, but it was just so different and unique. I don't know. What was I thinking? Um, oh, this I just grabbed for me. I need some more like workout tops or tank tops or around the house. This is a Wrangler, but it's women's. It's sleeveless. It's got the pearl snaps, which are really pretty. And this pretty lace on the back. 
Uh, this is a women's wool rich vest. Wool, wool rich is one of the brands that, you know, I've written down from others that say, yes, that's a good brand to pick up. Here we have a Tommy Bahamas dress, which I would have thought would have been like more bright and colorful, but it's black. Since it was Tommy Bahama, I, uh, I picked it up. It's size medium. This one, this isn't a brand that I was like looking to grab. I mean, it's a Tommy Hilfiger uh, dress, but it was just such a pretty paisley print. Oh, I couldn't pass that up. Especially on these, these half off days. Like I'm definitely not at the point, like I probably can't even afford to go on the days that aren't half off days. Just trying to keep my cost of goods as low as possible right now starting out. I don't know if this is worth anything, uh, but I grabbed this <laughs> Napa racing hat. It looked pretty clean on the inside. Here is a Pendleton blazer. And I mean, I'm still learning how to look things up. I, I couldn't tell you like if this is really worth anything or not. Um, it's got this elbow patch thing there but I mean again picking up these blazers for five bucks I'm like surely I can get my money back on those oh this one here was cool um so here's this this blazer right okay so I'm looking inside and I have no idea I'll have to like google lens that that uh label but what I thought was really cool, first of all, I, they had left like papers in there from like a church service <laughs> from 1997. Inside here, Taylor's service by a custom service shop. Mr. has a name. The date, November 3rd, 1978. I just thought that was so cool. You know, sometimes you get pieces and you're like, you'll mark it vintage because, yeah, it looks vintage. Think it's vintage. This is legitimately from the 70s. I love that. Oh, I just, I love the thrill of the hunt. You just don't know what you're going to find. These are some Wrangler shorts. And they're in a quite large size, but they just, they seem really durable and really nice. O'Neill swim trunks EMS Eastern Mountain Sports kind of like an outdoorsy brand grab these shorts that look to be in pretty decent condition again if it wasn't half off day I don't know that I'd be picking up like all of this but these here were cool US Army type A1 garment so just these like khaki pants Got this cool embroidered star on the inside. Some Ralph Lauren pants here. Oh yeah, this one. So I noticed this one did have a spot on the butt there. <laughs> and I did notice that it was dry clean only. And I'm like, uh, somebody tell me, is it 100% oh, wool? So I did see the spot, but because they were wool and because it was a good brand, I was like, oh, I think they might be worth it. Um, so somebody tell me, is it worth for me to get these dry cleaned or do I just list them as is? But these were a guess on my part. It's Enrico Visconti, Visconti, made in Italy. They just, they seemed nice. And I, I was pulling out my phone quite a bit in the store looking up the brands and we'll see. I think this is like the bag of pants. Well, we have more exciting stuff coming, don't worry. <laughs> uh, this was a brand, was not on my list, but I looked it up, high tech. Um, yeah, should be, make, should be able to make a couple bucks on those. I don't know if this is a brand worth getting or not. I recognize it as, I, I think this is like a skater brand Volcom. Uh, but these shorts were in pretty good shape. Cool logo there. Hey, nope. The rabbit's chewing at the corduroy pants I threw down there. 
was on for you. Uh, these are Walter Hagen. Um, not a brand on my list, but they these shorts like looked looked pretty sharp. Kyle, hey, no, no. He's like, what's all this new fabric on the floor? He's like, is are these all for me? <laughs> nope. Okay. Don't eat the pants. These are a pair of Vans shorts. Again, I don't think like big money, but if I'm picking these out for like two or three bucks, you know, why not? Uh, this is a pair of Columbia PFG, the uh, performance fishing gear. These pair of pants here, uh, J. Crew, the Driggs. Not very knowledgeable on those, but I thought they looked cool. Here is a pair of Volcom pants. <laughs> I don't want to bore you with all those pants. Let me come back to the rest of those then. I love the pattern on this. So this brand um, wasn't a brand that I was like, oh yeah, I need that brand. Uh, Massimo Supply Co. It's like this lightweight jacket. I mean, some bird watcher is just gonna love that, right? Or is this one where you're gonna be like, girl, go get your money back? <laughs> I these because they're Columbia, but they're also camo, camo shorts. Uh, we had a pair of Tommy Bahama swim trunks. There we go. There. This one has a hole in it, like the worst spot. But this is so cool looking. So it's Ralph Lauren polo shirt. Look at the size of that horse. And look at, like it's like a chunky, chunky horse. But there's a hole like right there next to him. Um, and there's also this embroidery on the sleeve. Like, I just thought it was too cool looking to leave there, but I don't know if anybody will want it with the, the hole in it right there. Uh, we have a Woolrich in 2XL. So Woolrich, good brand to grab. 2XL, it is a short sleeve button up. Oh, these swim trunks were so cool. Uh, what brand were they? Oh, Hawaiian Authentics. Uh, 2XL, I love this print. Oh my goodness. How cool is that? <laughs> uh, so it's not a brand I think anybody's gonna recognize, but 2XL and I thought the print was just gorgeous. I love that so much. We have an LL Bean. This is a long sleeve button up in pretty good condition. Was this a goodbye or was it? It's kind of like a fleece. I don't know. I grabbed that. This is a Wrangler Rancher shirt. Long sleeve. I always hear the sellers talking about these pearl snaps and I saw so many of them today and grabbed them all. They're so pretty. So here is that shirt with the pearl snaps. This is a Wrangler 2XL, but Wrangler Outdoors, so it's more beefy than a regular button-up. I just got this cool, but it was still like the same price as, there's like all kinds of different fabrics throughout. Uh, same price as just like the regular long sleeve, so I probably got for like 350. These were a pair of Carhartt jeans in a really good shape really thick and durable and the whole inside is like lined with this it's almost like a thin flannel so like these would keep you really warm we have a brooks brothers blazer madison 
again I'm still learning like oh that's a good one or oh that's not but you know for five bucks we'll, we'll try it out <laughs> so here is cotton polyester blend I thought this is a really nice shirt Ooh, this guy smelled good <laughs> Another LL Bean long sleeve button up. Uh, this was an LL Bean oh, sweater, size extra large. Pearlies, Pearl Snaps, Wrangler Rancher. Like I said, I came across a lot of these today. Show you. Oh, close up on the pearl. Um, this is one that I looked up, kind of took a chance on, Emmy, Emmy Maglia, made in Italy, has this sweater, but there's, there's the tag, there's the sweater. Between the made in Italy and then I looked at the tag inside to see what it was made out of, 3% cashmere, and I know cashmere is good, if there's only 3% in there, does that, is that still good? <laughs> Or does that not really count as cashmere? Does it have to be like 100%? We have some ties in here. So again, I paid $1.50 per tie. In my little Excel spreadsheet app, I did have a list of ties that I was specifically looking for or the bolo on the lookout for. And other ones, I was just like, oh, this is cool, I'm gonna grab it. Uh, this one was, this is cool, I'm gonna grab it. Uh, it's Sears, the men's store. 100% polyester. I just thought that was so cool looking. I like that 70s vibe. Like one of those houses you go into and it has all the wood paneling. Zianetti Italian silk. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger. I only grabbed this one because I thought that the pattern and just the way the color, look at that, the way the color changes on that. Oh, it's so cool. Uh, never heard of this brand or you know whatever the fillings collection but just because of the print I grabbed that one 100% background polyester superba know nothing about that tag or brand but again just thought like it's very textured I like that Gian Paolo, Italy, New York. No idea. Again, this was just another. Thought the pattern was kind of cool. Nordstrom, John Comfort and Co. London. Just grabbed it because it was red paisley. Found a Ralph Lauren tie, <laughs> polka dots. I grabbed this. I thought this was cool. I it could be worthless. I don't know. It just says private club on there. And then here is just this little tag and it says 100% virgin wool made in USA. I eh, thought that was neat. Burt Pulitzer Supra Shark made in the Philippines. Ugh, yeah, I have no idea why I grabbed those. I must have saw something that thought it was promising when I looked it up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll show you those polyester wool blend a Brooks Brothers it is a 346 Brooks Brothers another blazer here pull and close out and then it's a game of like okay what what made me buy this? Hold on, let me see. Polyester wool blend. There's the tag on that. Bellamin. I must have looked that up and again saw something I liked or thought it was worth getting. But there's polyester and wool. Okay, here is their blazer. So this one is Saks Fifth Avenue Hickley Freeman Spoke. And the reason I grabbed this one is because I've learned from others that it, when it says Laurel Piano, Laurel Piano, 
that adds value to it. And that's all I know. <laughs> Perry Ellis, I saw a ton of Perry Ellis and it's not something I was thinking to pick up, but a uh, short sleeve button up. I love this pattern. I thought that was really cool. I don't know if it was a good decision to grab it or not, but I don't know, took a chance on this one too. We have a Callaway golf short shirt. It is um, embroidered, it says Mulligans. And there is, Callaway is embroidered on the sleeve as well. Pearl snaps. This is Rustler. This looks like a shirt my dad would wear in the 80s. <laughs> no pearlies. Uh, this uh, weatherproof vintage. No, I know nothing about that brand. I grabbed it. Three reasons I can see. One uh, says uh, washable linen, so it's made of linen. Two, it's a 2XL. And three, look at that print. <laughs> It is a short sleeve button up. I'll show you the tag here in a second. So that's what we have there. Uh, Eddie Bauer. This is a 2XL tall long sleeve button up. Proper, with two P's in the middle, proper field wear. Uh, I don't know much about that. I did look it up. Um, well, I can definitely double or triple my money on that. Well, it's not hard to triple your money when you only spent like three fifty. But you know, Polo Jeans Company. So we have this. Here's the tag. This polo. Oh, and there's the embroidered little flag. I must have grabbed this one for the pattern. I don't even know how to say that. Hopped. H A U P T. Evolution. I don't know, but I thought it was a nice pattern. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But it is a long sleeve button up. Bit and bridle. Oh, pearl snaps! <laughs> I was like, why did I grab this one? Um. <laughs> Long sleeve button up with the pearls. Perry Ellis, uh, again, got this one for the print pattern that's on it. Long sleeve button up. This one, Bulwark. <laughs> I have not heard of that one before. Protective apparel. So this is flame resistant and anything that's flame resistant, protective gear, Kind of adds it value to it so there's what the tag looks like um it's a long sleeve button up it's very you know kind of thick and durable uh has patch on the side there and down here on the front it also has this patch that tells you that it is flame resistant and it is a size 3xl so I think it's got a lot of good things uh, going for it there. Brooks Brothers. So see, I get confused because I had Brooks Brothers written down for, they have good blazers. And again, I, I mean, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Should I be picking up Brooks Brothers long sleeve button up? <laughs> I think I got a few of them, but there's one. <laughs> there's another. There's a tag, Brooks Brothers. Long sleeve button up, the same person probably donated these because they were all right next to each other. Here is the third one. Close up on the pattern there. LL Bean XL Tall. We have this uh, polo. Evan Picone Sport. I mean, this was a gamble. I, I didn't know if the print on this made it interesting. Let me show you the tag. I don't think that's like a brand that's like, hey, get that. Um, you know, kind of vintage, vintage -y. Almost look like 
uh, herringbone. Eli Cattleman. Short sleeve button up with the pearls. Another pearl snap. The tag on this just says JC Penny. <laughs> but I grabbed it because of those there. This had a cute print on it. I don't know anything about this brand. It was stoic and it's a size small. Short sleeve button up. A cute like picnic print there. I don't know. We'll see <laughs> that one. Uh, this is Boston Traders, which I'd never heard of. 85% wool, 15% nylon. Uh, so again, just grab it because it's a wool sweater. Uh, this bag back here. Um, <laughs> I got a Trapper Keeper for a dollar. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> I got this music box. I was in the purse section and I like moved a purse and this Vera Bradley purse started playing music. <laughs> this music box was like inside this purse, like at the very back of the rack. And I'm like, oh, somebody hit it there. Maybe it's worth something. So I'm like looking it up way more excited than I should have been. Here I am thinking like if somebody hit it, like that means it's worth big bucks. They're coming back for it and think it through. Okay, so the price tag out at $4.99, it's half off day. So I paid $2.50. They probably saw it there yesterday and they're like, I'll come back for it tomorrow when it's $2.50. So now I feel bad for taking it. <laughs> but it is, uh, it, it is really pretty. And you know what? When I did some research, I mean, it does... I don't know, maybe it's got value. But really, if it had value and the person was hiding it because it had value, they would have bought it for $5. Um, but that's really pretty. And when I was up at checkout, I told the guy, I'm like, yeah, I found this in a purse. And he's like, in a purse? He's like, I just put it on the shelf, like, over there yesterday. So between yesterday and, yeah, when I found it. Um, <laughs> Oops. I said, well, if somebody comes in looking for it, don't tell them I took it. <laughs> I don't want that to fall on Kyle if he's back there. Oh, this I'm keeping for me. This is so cute. Uh, this is Lands End Extra Large. Just like a, a cardigan sweater. But look at those colors and that print. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love that so much. Uh, this one intrigued me. I don't know that I know much about it. Um, so, super long. Um, Richmond Brothers is the tag, which I did, you know, look up. Um, what I thought was really cool about this, if you look at the inside, this inner lining... Like there, I saw like there's a zipper up here. So I didn't like take this out in the store because maybe there's another tag underneath that I can get more information from. Um, but I guess this inner lining comes out. Uh, well, I'm not seeing any other tag underneath there. <laughs> I don't know, I've never seen that, although I'm not usually poking around in old jackets. Okay, this one. Oh my gosh. I'm flipping through the women's section, like, you know, quite quickly because it's the women's section. And this tag catches my eye and I just like dead stop. I'm like, what the heck is that? So let's start with the tag before I show you anything else. So I look, I looked that up and there's a few pieces that have gone for quite a bit of money. I'm like, okay, well, here's the rest of it. You ready? <laughs> Look what? <laughs> these, these are huge, like chunky. <laughs> 
I do not know. Um, <clears throat> but for a couple bucks, I grabbed it. And um, let's see what happens. <laughs> Maybe it's a new Bolo brand. LL <laughs> Bean jacket here. Looks nice. Or blazer. I can feel the shoulder pads in that. Okay, <laughs> this one. I got this one because, have you seen, I've seen this like scrolling Facebook or whatever, and it says like, Timu, your days are numbered. <laughs> this is not Selena. And it's a picture of a t-shirt that says Selena, and it has a picture of uh, Fran Drescher from The Nanny. <laughs> so when I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get this. <laughs> it is the real <laughs> Selena. That's funny. Um, yeah. So mainly I got that because I thought that was funny. This one, I'm sure this is more modern and, and not vintage. Uh, this was when I was flipping through the women's section. I was really just looking for, like, I personally looking for, again, tank tops to wear to the gym. Uh, this is Tasso Elba. And so I've seen this in... The golf section and like polos like i have some listed already uh, and it is a vest this was in the women's section but because of uh, i think that's men's for like the golf brand i mean it it's really nice it feels really nice it doesn't seem to be like women's cut or anything i don't know tell me if i have that wrong um eddie bauer vest sweater vest size large well, looking at that size large again, I want to say that's men's. Okay, this one. <laughs> I'm flipping through the dress, the section of dresses, and really just focusing on the tags. And I see a Peter Millar tag. I was like, oh, that must have been put away, like, incorrectly. It should be over in the men's, you know, shirt section. Um, and then... <laughs> So we'll start there. So this is what I saw, Peter Millar. And then I'm like, wait, it's sleeveless. <laughs> and then I'm like, wait. <laughs> so as far as I know, Peter Millar does not make dresses. Again, I'm new to this, but I have that brand listed in, you know, the golf short shirts with the men's. Um, So then I'm like looking at the, the hem here and it, I'm pretty sure somebody like cut, cut that and <laughs> turned this into a dress. <laughs> and I grabbed it just because I wanted, <laughs> like, I'm like, I have to show you this. <laughs> um, can't even list, no, like, nobody's looking for a Peter Millar dress. So, yeah. First ever probably Peter Millar dress. In one of the videos I was watching, they said uh gonna look out for Eddie Bauer dresses. Um and lo and behold in the dress section I found an Eddie Bauer dress. So I grabbed it. Uh, I'm not sure it'll be like really worth anything, but this okay. <laughs> This I grabbed, um, it's a Jessica Simpson maternity dress, but as I kept, like, I just, it's gorgeous, and uh, even though it says maternity, I mean, I got a little bit of extra, I think it'll fit me, and I think it's so cute, I mean, is that wrong to, there's lots of strappy things going on, I'm not sure how that, that goes, but just overall, like, this is just so pretty. How cute would that look with some brown boots? Um, yeah, so I mean, I might try that on and see how it looks on me. This, um, <laughs> this is a, like a jacket coat. The brand is King Size. I grabbed it because it's a 6XL and it's a pretty, like it's in really great condition. Like it seems really nice. 
Um, and again, only paying like $3 for it. Grab that. Um, Wrangler Western shirts. This has the pearl snaps. <laughs> Short sleeve button up. Not that well versed in pants, if I didn't say that before, but these are some Eddie Bauer pants. Love to be in you know, pretty good condition there. I think this is another one I grab for me. <laughs> I just love the flow of this. This is a Maurice, Maurice's um, top. And I just love the flow of this. So like, you see where it ends on the front there. Oh, but then it's longer in the back. I just thought that was really cute, super flowy. That'll be nice in the summer. Here is another pair of Eddie Bauer pants. Again, I was just in the mindset of, okay, I'm gonna pay three, 350 for these. Surely I can flip them. <laughs> Love Ryan, it must be another one I grabbed for, that I thought would be cute on me. <laughs> so that is the label, I can't, I can't even tell. Like, was there anything even on that before? Um, Again, super cute dress with some boots. I'm keeping that for me. This one, I mean, is just more of a novelty. I probably could have left it on the rack there. I don't know much with dresses. Oh, this I thought was so pretty. Uh, Danny and Nicole, I saw a couple by Danny and Nicole, like that brand, I don't know anything about it. I don't know if it's good or not. Uh, but this particular dress I just thought was so cute and so nice. There is the back. Um, oh, same with this. Oh, this is so pretty. Uh, so this, <laughs> still a tag on it from Kohl's. Uh, the brand is Knitworks. Again, no, know nothing about it. But, oh, like how pretty is this oh. <laughs> got some sparkle in it and did you see the the floofies in there i feel like i didn't do the floofies justice hold on there we go oh my gosh i love that a blazer made in vietnam go and let's see why I grabbed this one. Oh, just by feeling it I think I know why I grabbed this one okay yeah so the brand Andrew Feza which meant nothing to me uh, but it's a hundred percent camel hair which I think is good <laughs> this is what petting a camel feels like it's actually really soft international outerwear uh, shell genuine leather so um i don't know what i liked about this was this inside lining i just thought that looks cool i don't know if it's worth anything or not but another blazer 100 percent wool it is ralph lauren So, good brand and 100% wool. This jacket is called Free Tech. Uh, it just had a really cool, durable feel to it. I'm booked it up and I think that'll be, I mean, that's, that's nice. We have a polo sweater, gray on gray embroidery there. Oh, it's got a lot of pilling on it. Whoopsies. <laughs> okay, pearl snaps. This is that Eli Cattleman. Tall man. This is a long sleeve button up with the pearl snaps. I found a bunch of pearl snaps like right in a row. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wrangler cowboy cut. Oh, 
long sleeve button up with the pearls. Uh, this is a Columbia Omniwick Advanced Evaporation <laughs> long sleeve button up. We have another polo sweater. Size large. Can't tell if it's a spot there. I can see it in the bright light. Express. Uh, I definitely grabbed this one for the pattern. So this is a long sleeve button up and hopefully the pattern will sell it <laughs> proper the brand that's battle tested <laughs> i mean that kind of that stuck out to me and this cool like army green tag uh, so this is long sleeve button up like work shirt Assembled in Dominican Republic. It's a cotton polyester blend. Like that extra patch there on the elbow. It's nice. I don't know anything about this brand, but it has pearl snaps. <laughs> Carmen long sleeve button up. It's a it's a white white one. I'll have to check it over from spots. It's got like I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Oh yeah. Little design in there. There's those. Outlaw Western. Oh, tag. Long sleeve button up with the pearl snaps. I didn't even know what pearl snaps were until two weeks ago. And then I get so excited when I see them. <laughs> uh, Wrangler Retro. It looks retro. Long sleeve button up with the pearl snaps. That's another shirt that looks like my dad would wear in the 80s. Here's my receipts. One, two, three stores. Uh, Duluth Trading Wrinkle Fighter. This is a 3XL. Show the tag first. Duluth Trading. This is a short sleeve button up. Looks in really good condition. Okay, this pile on the floor is now like <laughs> what the what? Uh, Jack Will's knitwear. Size small. Ooh, I got excited when I saw this. Um, so it looked like wool. Well, and this this tag is really cool. And then it's got this embroidery. <laughs> and then check the inside tag. It says keep away from fire. And then on this side, it's 100% lamb wool, which I had in my notes because somebody else had mentioned in one of their videos that lamb wool is really good. So it's a size small. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was really nice. Hooded. I mean, that's a steal for three bucks, right? Okay, let's, oh, we got a mess of ties here. Okay, let's do the ties. From Dramel. It's the last name there. I'll show you the tag. I think I just grabbed this one because, like, the fabric and the pattern. I don't know. It looked kind of, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I grabbed the one. Pierre Cardin, Paris, New York. I grabbed this one for the pattern on it. I thought it was really cool. This one says Etro. I want to say this one was on my list of ones to watch for. I think. I'll just double check. Um, there's the print on that. This one says Strathmore, but this one I got for the print and the texture on that. That was nice. Again, I don't know anything about ties. So. Burt Pulitzer. Oh, I had a pair of pants that I think Burt Pulitzer. Um, got that one for the pattern. I'm not sure why now that I look at it. Roxburgh, designed and made in Scotland, all wool. I just thought that was neat. Lena Lario. 
some of these I'm not sure why I grabbed. Oh, this one, the pattern. Like, I think it, the bird's in there. <laughs> Enrico Rossini, made in Italy. Geometric pattern. Zianetti Italian silk collection. Got it for the pattern. Oh, it's in gold. David Taylor, I got this one purely for the paisley pattern. I love that color. Christian Dior, this one was on my list, my bolo list. <laughs> so here it is. That one, again, I have no idea how to tell how to price them. Maybe it's worth $10, maybe it's worth 20 or 30, I don't know. Um, this one, Wembley. I saw a lot of ties by this brand, so I'm thinking it's not like anything is special, but I kind of liked the design and pattern on, on that. Oh, here's another Christian Dior. Made in USA, fabric woven in Italy. This gorgeous paisley pattern. This one, Smoothie, made by Shredder. I don't know, but it had, I thought it had a super cool pattern there. I don't think that was a brand that was on my list to watch for. Uh, maybe I got it for the pattern. I don't know. Stills the tags on it. Oh, that's probably why I grabbed it. Okay, so this is the brand Exertion, which, I mean, we see it all the time. But it's a 4XL. It is a hooded... Um, like vest or hood, not vest, sleeveless. Well, yeah, so you kind of. Um, but it was due with tags. The price tag on it is fifty dollars. Uh, so I can certainly make money on my three dollar investment there. I hope. If I can, I'm doing something wrong. A Woolrich. And this uh, short sleeve, pretty tough and durable, khaki button up. Oh, Ralph Lauren Yarmouth. I don't know if the Yarmouth means anything, but it is a long sleeve button up, black and white with the pony. Oh, heavy, heavy sweater. Tommy Hilfiger, <laughs> um, but it's a 2XL. And it's, it's super heavy, like, it seems really nice. Oh. Zip up sweater there. Nick Graham, I'm sure I grabbed this one for the pattern. That's not a brand I was looking for. Long sleeve button up. Carbon Black is the brand on this. I grabbed this one for I don't know if it's good or not, but I grabbed it for the pattern and the pearl snaps. Got a little bit of a design there. And there's those. This here is a Land's End Do It Tags. And it's Blake Shelton <laughs> Land's End. It is a 2XL long sleeve camo button up. Thought that looked nice. We have a Tommy Bahama 3XL sweater. This is nice. It's embroidered it down there. I like that. Roan, new with tags. Uh, since I'm new to this, this is my first time seeing any Roan product, but I know from others that it's on the list of things to watch for. You know, I didn't even realize that it was new with tags. The first Goodwill I went today, because it's half off day, like it was crazy. So I was kind of kind of anxious as I was going through the aisles. Uh, they're Roan. So this is a 2XL. So Roan training. And it's just this long sleeve. But again, I was just excited because that was the first time I saw this brand in person. We have an Eddie Bauer coat. I don't remember grabbing all these. Uh, Columbia. 
kind of like a rain jacket kind of material. Just Columbia Interchange. Oh, something corduroy. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. So I probably grabbed this because it was corduroy and it was green and cool looking. The Country Coat. Sears the Men's Store. How cool looking is this? <laughs> Oh, this is another free tech jacket. This material like, feels so nice. Uh, so there's the, the tag, there's the logo there. I'm not sure why I grabbed this. Canada Weather Gear. It's a 2XL. I think it looked, I mean, it just looked nice. Um, it's got this here on the bottom, and then it has this nice patch on the sleeve. I don't know, for like two bucks, I thought it was, I thought it was worth picking up. Final bag. <laughs> I don't know anything about this brand Guide Gear. It's just like a zip up jacket. Um, but you know, it looks really nice. Feels really soft and cozy. Uh, American Eagle, which I wouldn't normally pick up, but I like the pattern on this long sleeve button up. Uh, this is George Strait Cowboy Cut Collection Wrangler. Uh, long sleeve button up. A little bit of an embroidery on the pocket there. Steel and Jelly. No idea about that brand. But it had this really cute anchor pattern. So it's this long sleeve button up. Oh, and it's got the flip cuff. Ooh. Okay, this just looked really vintagey. <laughs> I don't know if anybody wear, wear this wear this thing. John Ashford Golf, 100 percent cotton. It is this golf sweater. Show you the embroidery there. <laughs> uh, PGA Tour. I saw a couple of these like PGA Tour shirts. I'm not sure if they're worth picking up or not. Size extra large in really good shape, I think. Ooh, got some pearl snaps. Uh, Rustler. This is, oh, there's the tag. Short sleeve button up with the pearlies. Gaia Berra by Habend of Patterson. No idea, I got this one for the pattern on it. <gasps> um, the short sleeve button up. They're embroidered on there, I mean, it's kinda cool. We have a polo. Rustler. I don't know, maybe pearl stomps aren't as special as like, I just know I was really excited. <laughs> Once I saw them, I was like grabbing them all. Uh, so there's those. Eli Cattleman size large, short sleeve, button up, pearls. Uh, we have Rustler, same, pearl snap. So that, short sleeve, button up. We have a Harley Davidson polo. That embroidered on the front. It is a size, I don't know. That tag's done. Yeah, so I'm not sure I'll have, I don't know the size of that. Uh, and But then on the side it is embroidered. Harley Davidson of Youngstown, Canfield, Ohio. Another rustler, short sleeve button up with the pearl snaps. Daniel Kresmin signature collection. I got this one for the short sleeve polo. I got this one for the pattern. 
uh, rustler size large this one's got some like sparklies going through it a short sleeve button up do men wear like sparklies I mean this isn't women's is it no how would you list that it sparkles <laughs> Another PGA Tour, size large, polo, got like this golf print on it. I've never heard of this brand, Sedge, Sedgefield. Uh, obviously got it for the print. <laughs> Rustler, short sleeve button up, like the pearl snaps. Polo, short sleeve, short sleeve button up right. uh, we have an ll bean women's vest size medium all right we got a couple more ties to finish us off walkers no idea about that one grab that one for the print umberto bossy Got it for the print. Uh, Homaggio by Robert Talbot. I did have Talbot on my list to watch for, I think. Harper's, this is across, Harper's across from Penn State main campus. Um, but I just thought these, hey, I thought it was beautiful. Oh my goodness. love that i think there's another one yeah here there's another harper's jay-z gallery collection look at how cool <laughs> this one's probably not worth anything more of a novelty thing um i mean i see you see like the m&ms ties or looney tunes but uh here's a home improvement one <laughs> tim's big tool <laughs> on the front. it's his big tool <laughs> We have a Michael Kors. I thought that was a nice print there. Hey, okay. well, these last two were brands that were on my bolo list. I don't know how to tell what they're worth though. If anything, we have Giorgio Armani. And that print there. And I was so excited I found a Zegna. <laughs> I mean, being new to this, and you hear, like, every single video you watch of all these different sellers, like, they'll say Zegna is good. And I actually saw one in the wild in, in my town. Uh, so <laughs> here's the print. It's like, they're little scrolls. Yeah. Top there, it says something about exclusive. <laughs> so how'd I do? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, and, uh, Keep you posted how as to how things go, but uh I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.